Ah. This really did throw monkey wrench in my plans. Yeah, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Because of this misinformation that I kind of had there, I decided that I'm not going to be doing any more, well, full on side quest parts per se. What I planned on doing before was like doing each area in its own catch up part. Like this, the last part was going to be the Pharon area, the next one was going to be the Kakariko slash Goron area. Etc. Etc. Well, I just want to make sure I got all my information correct the next time so I don't have another incident like that other time. But anyway, what I'm going to do this, um, what I'm going to do now, just because it's kind of beneficial, is first I'm going to go back to. Fine. <laughs> I forgot you can't do that in towns. So I'll just exit. What I want to go to is the tent that had that uh, claw shot mini game I couldn't do that a little bit earlier because of the fact that I didn't have the claw shot but I've showed you this place before just I couldn't do it wait, 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 I passed it I passed it yeah I passed it <laughs> I believe it's open 24 7 so you shouldn't have any trouble getting in here all right here we are the star tent Yes, I will! Why I'm doing this now is because the prize you get is immediately beneficial to you. Alright, so... Get your claw shot out. Actually, oh, I got it, okay. Get up to there, and you can claw shot from area to area. Try and collect as many of those spheres as you possibly can in the midair, and I'm not sure I'm doing a very good job here. <laughs> I can do it. I can do it. Nine seconds. I am definitely out of practice with this game. Or not. <laughs> I guess I did a good enough job. Impossible. <laughs> I guess he didn't expect people to win it. I'm a big quiver. Yeah. Oh, baby. It's so beautiful. <laughs> uh, I'm not... Yeah, well, there's one created just for me. I, I'm not actually able to do this now. At least I don't think I am able to do it, so I'm out of here. <laughs> what I'm gonna do is warp back over to Lake Hylia and then start doing... Oh jeez, I got fangirls! Oh. <laughs> Run! Oh, actually, that's kind of helpful. Thank you. Run! Ah! <laughs> Wait. I oh, they weren't chasing after me. I wanted to see what happens if they caught off to me. <laughs> Good times. So now that I'm out, <laughs> out of town, I'm going to warp over to Lake Hylia and make some progress on the game. If you remember, there was a thing of... I mean, a thing back in Telma's bar that said that I should talk to somebody, and that somebody is that somebody that I'm going to be talking to. That's very clear, isn't it? <laughs> I'm looking for... a very tall, thin tower somewhere. Uh, oops. Uh, actually, I can... I should, probably should transform into human. Okay, I'm gonna... I think... that is it over there. I just want to make sure before I... Do my little trek here. Yeah, I, I don't. I think that's it. So that's where I'm going. And I think you have to take this path to get there. Uh, I think I was over there when I was a wolf, but getting there as a as a human is a little bit different. So I'm gonna show how that works out. Because you can climb ladders. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely the right path. Okay. And uh, hopsy daisy up here. And there's a rather long ladder up there that you're gonna have to climb to get to the very top. Hello? Is that a pole that I can get right now? You know what? I might as well grab that as long as I'm here. You there! I'm gonna get you before it turns nightfall. I mean, turns day because it's still nightfall. Did it? It turned daytime, didn't it? Oops. I... I 
can't believe that. That is a complete disappointment <laughs> for waiting so long to make it, you know, nighttime. I only got one pull out of that, and you don't you have no idea how long I had to wait to, <laughs> to wait for uh, it to change from day to night, and it's already daytime again. And I lost another pull. I'll get that when I come back here to Lake Hylia. If you want to, you can get that now, but it's just gonna be another a part later anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna have to come back here later, I mean. Why, yes! Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is the guy we're supposed to meet up with, by the way. Indeed I am. Oh, that sounds about right. <laughs> I don't know how Link talks to anyone. I mean, he doesn't speak. <laughs> Mmm. Mmm. That sounds pretty dark. <laughs> I'm going over there. Yes. <laughs> Amusement ride of sorts. That's the guy that owns a cannon. The cannon amusements ride of sorts that's kind of dangerous that shoots you to the Kuko place, yeah. <laughs> that sounds awesome. Do you have anything else to say before I go over there? That's all? Okay. Geronimo! Woo! Hey, and I just noticed I am out of my Zora garb. I don't remember changing out of my Zora garb. Maybe it's because it's been so long or something. That, because that would be kind of beneficial since I'm swimming here, but whatever, we're here. <laughs> Climb out! Climb out, there's a ledge. You can grab on. I know you can. There you go. I can't do any... Well, I can do something with him right now, but I don't really want to do it in a regular part. I'd rather do it on a side quest part, which, which is why I say I can't <laughs> right now. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Uh, oh, wait. I gotta show him something. I forgot to equip that. My bad. Oh, look. I wanted to set it to the B button. But I guess when you just press the button, it pops out. That works. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I think so. <laughs> Not available to the general public. So, yeah, let's go. Hopefully, it'll be safer. <laughs> In we go, and we get to watch this cutscene again. Only it's gonna be slightly different. Who built their house into a cannon? <laughs> yeah, the, the difference between that and the other one was the fact that you get launched over here instead of the other place. So the cutscene at the very, very end of that sequence is what's different. So here we are, the Gerudo Desert. And we're gonna get a little bit of backstory. I do. Would you please tell us? Thank you.
If you're wondering why Midna got hurt by that light spirit before, it, that's pretty much why. Because she is a descendant of the tribe that was banished to the Twilight Realm. Zant knew that, so he put her in front of that light spirit, and then the li the the light from that spirit, you know, just hurt her because it was just that bright. Oh, poop! Oh, he's so calm, cool, and collected. Zant is. Do you mean me? No. <laughs> it just said she said Link, so I had to make that joke. But where is the mirror of twilight? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess so. See, Link doesn't speak. Now I'm going to do a little bit more of this, and then I'll end off the part. It's a long trek to where I want to go, and it's not nighttime, so I can't get some bows. I'd rather leave them for a side quest part anyway. And this place is very barren, as you would expect from a desert, but it's kind of interesting in that you have to navigate around the cracks in the ground. Oh! <laughs> leave me alone! Oh! <laughs> It's a good idea to just leave them, because I believe they just keep spawning over and over and over again. But the first- woo, The first- <laughs> The first thing that I'm going to do is go to that thing that you see way, way in the background there. Because I'm going to do something with it. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Why is the wildlife always out to get me in video games? Oh jeez. Uh, I hope this is the right path that I can take. These cracks eventually come woo, come to a spot where you can cross them, but otherwise it's like a maze of flat land because you can't jump those gaps normally. Uh, this place that I'm going to be messing around over here is actually a place that has a couple of little side quests as well, which I'll probably do along with the pose when, when I can. Well, maybe, I'm not sure about that. But the thing that I'm looking... Whoa! No, what the heck happened there? The thing that I'm looking for is... Not these critters. That big, uh, whatever spire thing is over there. It'll make sense what that thing is in just a second. Come on, I know I can get up there using this. Or a pea hat. Come on. This is preposterous. I could have swore... This is how you're supposed to get up. Huh. Why can't I do it from the other side, but I can do it here? Oh, whatever. <laughs> okay, now you use the pea hat. Preferably lock onto it first. And wait for it to drop, well, to get over the land, like here, and then let go. Now you're up here. Oh! This is important to do as well, because it'll give you a nice warp point. But I am human, what am I supposed to do about them? Well, I could defeat them with a spin attack, but since I can transform at will, why not, you know? <laughs> I'm going to kill this one. I want to kill the one at the end first, otherwise, yeah. Maybe I can group them all together. Come on, everyone. There we go. Voila! Easy peasy, one, two, three easy. <laughs> Now, I'll grab some hearts, I suppose. Climb up here as a wolf, just because I'm too lazy to transform back into a human. <laughs> now this is important. 
Does this thing look familiar at all? Warp it to the Bridge of Elden. Come on, you can do it! You can do it! Yeah! Now it should, should look really familiar to you. It's the piece of the bridge that is missing from the Bridge of Elden that got transported away. They transported it to this desert. And... Because there's a portal here. It, uh, uh, fits perfectly, just like a jigsaw puzzle piece. <laughs> and would you look at that, we got ourselves a new warp point, as well as the ability to cross this bridge anytime you want once again. Take that, game ending bug. And now, warp back to desert. And I think that's all I'm going to be doing in this part because the next portion is going to take a little bit what a little bit of time before I get to the next dungeon and that's going to make this part be exceedingly long so this seems like a good time to end it off. I hope you enjoy and I will see you in the next part.